Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of April 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I appreciate all the continued um, patrons and donations uh, because of the demonetization on YouTube. So, and this is my, you know, my prime source of income. So I appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to book a personal or private reading, payments and orders are collected on Fridays. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. I normally um, post a notification when I'm taking calls, so make sure that you are subscribed. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter is the Emperor. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Sun. We have the Nine of Cups, Death, the World, Page of Swords, and Judgment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I heard somebody yell out, Judgment. <laughs> That's correct. Um, so, <laughs> Central Issue. I feel like you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate when I get in a silly mood. Okay. Central issue is that I feel like you guys are um being observed by somebody. Someone has their eye on you. Someone um, is working up the courage or the nerve to approach you and say what they need to say. Um, this person, even though they come off as very stone-faced or serious, has a very playful nature to them. Um, you may have like an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming towards you or someone with this, um, with that fiery energy. I mean, I also have uh, maybe Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but uh, either way, it looks like you're definitely being observed unless you're um, the pursuer, then you are the one doing it observing. Um... I feel like someone wants to reveal how they're feeling. They may have already done it in the past, but this person's very uh, strategic and very, um, they're a planner. They're a planner. It's like they feel like they see something they have to have and, and they go after it. Now, I don't know if some of you are going through breakups. Definitely looks like there could be some sort of endings. Looks like Nine of Cups might be you feel, feeling like you're uh, finally free or single. Um, and the death maybe, death and the world both indicate that maybe there's been some sort of ending of a relationship or a cycle. I mean, it could be that this is the, you're coming to an end of being alone. That's a possibility too. But... I feel like you guys are overall undergoing some sort of deep transformation. You're purging, you're evolving, and you're definitely moving on. If you've recently liberated yourself from this watching energy, they're still watching you. They're still wanting to see if they can come back into the picture. I feel like it's a dead end. Something looks like it expired. It's like, no, it's just it's over with you. So I think someone, even though they're strategizing and they have like all these plans to uh, come towards you or whatever, it's just like you, you are just 100% sure that that's not the person for you. Um, ooh, now I just got that um, you're not the father <laughs> and this does give me father son energy. So there could be some sort of... Um, paternity issues some some sort of paternity drama that comes to an end maybe it turns out that someone was not the father um and the relationship ends because of that if it doesn't end it definitely puts the relationship under some sort of deep transformative situation but I do feel like maybe even as a message for some of you that somebody may not be the father. Now, that is just to confirm something that you were already suspicious about. So if you're a guy and you were you were like, I really don't think that's my child, something might confirm that. 
um, this this could give the confirmation. But if you're 100% sure that someone is your child, you know, that doesn't count to those of you that that doesn't apply to. I felt like that message was specifically for someone wanting to know if somebody was the father or not. Um, I feel like maybe they aren't. Of course, I'm no doctor. Go get your go get a paternity test. But yeah. Um, now, I do see something coming back to life after something has ended. It might be that one person exits a relationship or finally cuts someone off, but then you hear from someone else, or it could be just the same person. You already ended it, but they're still calling. I will say something looks like, yeah, maybe it does deserve to be uh tied up like some loose ends deserve to be tied up there could be some sort of loose ends there need possibly needs to be closure or maybe you're making your rounds maybe this is someone going around just making peace with people from the past it's like let me get closure with this person and this person be and so that i could sit right with my soul mm, let me see let me look at uh death and then I'm getting similar energies with, um, I had some similar energies in the Aries reading. Although I didn't, I don't think I got any pinnacles that came out. Maybe you're, maybe you're dealing with an Aries. I don't know. Um, let me look at the death card. So it could be if you were dealing with an Aries that you've decided to close out, close things out with them or move on from them. Um, or maybe they have done this to you. Someone could have been too immature in a relationship, too playful, not taking the relationship serious enough or not taking the connection serious enough. Hmm. I also feel like somebody lost their attraction to other people or someone's sex drive is just went shot to hell, like something's going on. I also was getting that if you're in a long distance relationship, that's another thing I got with the Aries reading. If you're in a long distance relationship, it looks like maybe it just doesn't work out. It's like, look, we're not going to stand the test of time or I can't deal with the long distance. I need somebody close. Um, so long distance may not be the best option for some of you right now. Um, and not saying that you can't date other people or it's not, you know, you can may maybe use dating apps still, but just finding someone who's more local. Um, what else am I getting here? Now, if someone was in jail, it could be that they're getting released from that. I really feel like this is more so about someone gaining their independence, someone who is free to do what they want now. I'm getting a lot of single energy in your reading. So I feel like there may be a water sign coming towards you. You might initially put up a fight with them for whatever reason, give them a hard time, or they're giving you a hard time. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel like this person's also very mysterious and very hard to read. They're very low key. I feel like the people that are pursuing you something about the their energy they're all watchers they're like people who like to watch before they pounce <laughs> um 
I feel like this person is very primal in nature, dealing with a lot of primal energy. Now, I do get someone who is not taking no for an answer. Someone is determined to get your attention or determined to give, uh, to determine for you to give them a chance. They're like, no, like you have to at least hear me out. You know, we have to at least give this a, a fair shot. But at the same time, I see you setting some sort of boundaries like I don't have to do anything like this is what I want. I know what I want and I'm not backing down. I'm not settling. I feel like someone is trying to push you outside of your comfort zone or get you to do something that you don't normally do. Date who you don't normally date. Maybe someone isn't normally your type. Um, and I feel like you're meeting some sort of challenges in your love life. If you're already in a relationship, it, it feels like it's over. It feels like it's a, maybe a dead end or going through some sort of heavy transformation. Um, mm. I feel like there are struggles. Those of you that, that are coupled, I just feel like there are struggles. And I think someone may be acting distant or weird because someone else is on their mind. And I feel like they're kind of comparing this new energy to what the relationship has been. And I feel like this new energy makes them feel alive. And this is why they've been acting completely distant. I feel like they've been awakened somehow. Now, this also could be it's recently been discovered that being forced to, to remain in, you know, confinement with your significant other, you guys are starting to realize that your, your beliefs or your goals are different, but you're especially like your spiritual beliefs. Like one person might be like, don't you see there's more, there's a bigger agenda going on? And the other person is like, you're crazy. You know, you need to listen to what your government is telling you. You know, so I feel like there could be a weird clash going on that might make you you all realize that you're just completely, completely different people. I feel like overall, like you're needing to stand your ground. I feel like you need to... Um, because it's indicating that there's some sort of strong beliefs that you may be holding on to. And if that's what you truly believe, like, stick to it. And matter of fact, it looks like you, if there was some sort of power struggles with you and another person, those power struggles ended. But at the same time, you are coming off as a changed person. I hope that's making sense. Because it looks like initially a relationship was, it, it was struggling with power struggles. It maybe it was more so like playful, but now maybe someone starts to feel more serious about what they want or believe in. And this has been put to the test. So now someone knows what they really want. And they're like, no, okay, I'm glad that this happened or I'm glad that you showed your true self because now I know what I need to do. So you guys might be feeling the need to set some sort of boundaries with yourself when it comes to your relationships. You're not saying, you're. I just feel like you're not allowing to be forced to do anything that you don't want to do. Hmm. And I'm also getting some sort of secrets. I don't know what these secrets are. I really feel like maybe someone secretly feels like something's over. They just aren't talking about it just yet. Maybe someone's waiting for the right time. Maybe someone wants to make sure that they're going to be financially independent before they decide to move on completely. I feel like if you're in a relationship, then you're definitely being put to the test. If you're single, I feel like you're having a hard time connecting with people. I feel like your opinions are coming off very, very strong. And people might, they either get you or they don't. I do feel like you might catch the attention of a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like you might have their attention. 
Um, but it, yeah, matter of fact, it is a water sign to me standing out from the crowd. If they're not water, then this person is very uh, water-like. So they have um, they have strong intuition. They might be uh, very intuitive, spiritual, and empath, psychic, very nurturing, have nurturing qualities like a mother. Um, matter of fact, I'm seeing someone that maybe has short hair if it's a female, I feel like her hair is short. Mm, the longest I, I see is shoulder length, but I, I'm getting a female with very short hair. Now, if this is a man, I feel like his hair is maybe long for a man because I feel like it's going to come past his earlobe at least. All right, so those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully it resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.